Hey everybody, welcome to King Gallon and Customary Capacity. Capacity is how much space does something take up. It's not really how much it weighs. So if you think of like a milk gallon jug, the milk gallon could either hold all of that milk, but it could also hold water. It could also hold air. So it's really not how heavy the milk gallon is, it's how much space that milk gallon takes up. So let's take a look at King Gallon and why we use King Gallon as a tool to help us out with all these measurements. So first of all, you're gonna be broken down into a bunch of smaller pieces, ever smaller pieces. So our biggest one is the gallon here. So you see the big gigantic milk jug. Well, the milk jug is now broken into four quarts. So it takes four of these quarts to go into a gallon. Now we get even smaller and you've got the pint and it takes two pints to make a quart. And we get even smaller than that and that would be cups. And over here we have the cup and it takes two cups to make a pint. So you might be saying, well, what the heck does that have to do with King Gallon? Well, let us show you right here. Here is King Gallon. And King Gallon, or sometimes we call it the big G. And I would say, practice drawing this boys and girls, because I had somebody teach me this when I was like 20. And I was like, how do you remember all of those different things? And they said, you've never seen the big G. And I'm like, I've never heard of the big G. And I was 20 years old. And I had a student teacher teach me the big G. And I said, this is the most ingenious thing in the world. And now I never forget how to measure stuff. So first thing you do is you draw a gigantic G. You see how big this thing has to be. That is King Gallon. He's on the outside. And inside the gallon are your four quarts. There's four queens. So you've got a big Q there, a Q, a Q, and a Q. So those are the four quarts. Okay. Now inside of each one of those quarts are the two princesses, the pints. So you have two P's inside of each one of the Q's. So those are the pints. And then inside of each pint are the cats that the princesses have. So they have two cats. So one pint equals two cups, okay? And I also put up to the side because sometimes in fourth grade they want us to know this, that one cup, one of these little kitty cats is eight fluid ounces. Sometimes they want us to know that. So you can use this big G, whenever I'm taking a test and it has gallons, quarts, or pints, the first thing I do, somewhere on my paper, I draw the big G, because the big G will help me. And you might be saying, well, how is this gonna help me? Well, let me show you the next slide. So here are some questions that a teacher may ask you on a test to see if you know how to use the big G. So we're gonna fill these in so you'll see how to use them. So first of all, two gallons. Well, I only have one gallon here. We wanna know how many quarts would be in two gallons. I only have one gallon, but let's take a look. If I know that there's four quarts in one gallon, then in two gallons, it must be two groups of four. So two groups of four is going to be it's going to be eight. All right. Now let's take a look at three quarts. Three quarts, we want to know how many pints that is. So I've got Q, a Q, and a Q, and I've got three Qs. I want to know how many Ps are in there, how many pints are going to be inside there. So inside the three Qs, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six pints in three quarts. All right. Now two pints is gonna be how many cups? Well, let me see here. I've got two of these peas and I'm looking inside the two peas. It is one, two, three, four cups. So I have four cups inside of my two pints. And finally, I've got two cups. How many fluid ounces is that? Well, if we remember on the previous slide, one cup was eight fluid ounces. So I'm gonna have two groups of eight and two groups of eight. If I know my multiplying, that's a really easy one. I have 16 fluid ounces. And that's all there is to King Gallon. And like I said, if you can remember, if you can practice drawing King Gallon at your house, you can use King Gallon on 
any question that deals with gallons, quarts, pints, cups, and fluid ounces the rest of your life, and you'll be a lot smarter than Mr. DeLugas was when he was 20 years old. All right, so good luck. <laughs>